Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video on how to install Octoprint onto a Raspberry Pi 3, specifically a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Now as far as this goes, a few things that you will need in order to do this. You will need to have a SD card to put the Octoprint on. This is the one I use and if you want to use this or anything else, links will be down in the description. Obviously, you will need to have the Raspberry Pi. I kind of recommend this over anything else unless you want to make your own case. Because when you add it all up, it's the pricing is very close when you get the heat sinks, the power, and all the other stuff. It's pretty close. If you want, this is not mandatory, but you can get a camera. Keep in mind that you can use a webcam to, to do whatever. And if you need the extenders because the cables might be too short for you, then you can get it here. Note that you can get flex cables here so it can get longer beyond what the extender puts out. And if you are having problems putting the camera onto the Pi itself, I'll leave a link down below to this. This gets into a detail on how to do that. Now, as far as things goes, you will need to download the following. You will also need to download the 130 through 32 disk imager. This will image the SD card as shown earlier. And also, you will need to have PuTTY. Now, for PuTTY, just go to whatever the latest version is, download here, and, and go through that. So from here what you need to do is go ahead and extract the octoprints the file that you got from here and also you need to format the actual sd card now to format the sd card into windows just find the sd card right click on it and i'm not going to actually format on here because it takes forever and a half but uh when you right click it on it go to format and then simply go down to quick format and then press start so as far as that goes again make sure that the file that you got is extracted and what we want to do now is use the program the win32 this imager to actually write that onto the SD card. So what you need to do is find the actual file and make sure that you got the right drive and then press write and just wait for that to get done. Following this point, you will need to set up the Wi-Fi and what you need to do is go ahead and go to the Octo WPA, the older file is not supported anymore. And then open up with your favorite text editor. I'm doing it into Note Plus Plus. And this is a free program that you can download. And you need to simply put in your Wi Fi's name there. And then put in the Wi Fi password there. Make sure, it, or, or wherever down here also keep in mind depend on the the Wi-Fi and and if it's unsecure and whatnot but anyways make sure that it's right otherwise obviously it won't be able to connect to the Wi-Fi oh and I forgot to mention you need to take out the um, number signs from wh whichever you pick and basically the number signs comment out for the code and it basically says that the code needs to pay attention to this point but remember to save and following this you will need to get the ip address and by the way to insert the sd card is on the bottom of the board and whenever you plug in the board itself you know that you did something right if you see it flashing or whatever and you see it on your network obviously but um, I'm lazy I don't want to go through the router 
if you go through the one of support go down network most of the time it will show up on our other devices and if you dip click on that or go to properties you'll get the IP address you just need the IP address so as far as this just open up putty and put in the IP address and go to open and you might be prompted with something just say yeah and if you're not able to get in then check your firewall and that might be blocking you but from here you want to put in pi pi for the username and raspberry for the password they'll be in the description so you can just copy and paste it from there so to change your password just type in passwd and this will allow you to change your password um, type in raspberry and then type in your new password and there we go so following this we need to type in sudo ras file I'll just put in the command in the description if you don't see on here normally the first option something about expanding so you're using all your stuff go all, all the way down to advanced and then select this this um, makes it where you can use your entire thing so for me 32k bytes for you it might be something else but anyways it's it, seen there it resized it something you can do if you want go down to interface option camera and yes so enable and, and what that is if you go here it enables that and I believe that's all we're going to do right here so we go finish yes and it's basically just closing it out so what we can do here is go to the browser and type in the IP address and that will pull up the new interface now as far as this goes when it first comes up you're going to have a thing that comes up a setup and at some point of it it's going to ask if you want to put in a username and password I suggest that you do that put in a unique password if all possible um, LastPass helps but go through that set up best you can and at the end if you want to test your camera see right now I don't have my printer so I can't show you all the ins and outs that's going to come around uh, two months from now but I can show you the camera portion of it and to get to the camera portion you just go to control and it should show up here so as far as that goes um, if this doesn't show up then let me take that away so you don't have to see my open hug but if that doesn't show up then check the connection it's possible that um, you, you didn't have it locked in and, and the connections not all the way in or, or maybe it's some type of uh, the extension the connection somewhere in there then the other thing to check is to see if the camera itself is working and, and you go down that path and make sure that the the uh, cameras enabled and all the other stuff there but for the most part uh, oh and if you're using a, a, a camera that it doesn't come from Raspberry itself check if it's compatible because some webcams aren't so note that but as far as that goes uh, hopefully this has up the ounce is pretty much as far as I can go until I get my printer but uh, feel free to check it out as far as play around with this stuff and um and hopefully this helped you out and i'll see you next video hope you have a great day